Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to start third lecture in the series Blender for Biology and in the first two lecture we talked about the basic introduction so in this lecture also we'll be talking on some introduction because like there are so many things to learn in Blender however what we'll do is we'll just have a demo for making one of the organelle for the cell so it will be more easier to make nucleus so what we'll do is we will make nucleus, nuclear membrane and nucleolus. And at the same time, we'll also learn what are the different formats or what are the different like elements we can learn in Blender. So first, let's start with the view of camera. So if you hit the tilde key on your keyboard, then you can see the different view. So let's see. Let's hit the tilde key. And at the same time, what you can do is if you hit the numpad, one, two, three, four, six, nine, eight, and seven, then you can get the view. So what we'll do here is I'll just go to the front view, seven. So this is the front view. So first we'll remove this cube. So for removing the cube, press the X in the keyboard, then you can delete the cube. And this is the 3D cursor. And wherever you place the 3D cursor, our new object is going to be inserted in the same location. So if the 3D cursor is somewhere else, you can bring it back to the center. Our other thing you can do is if you hit shift C, it will come in the center and you can just move the screen so that it, it comes in the center. So let's go shift A and mesh and let's enter icosphere because our nucleus is going to be round. And it's not perfectly round. So what we need to do is let's make it little bit roundish and little bit like ups and downs. So let's make this one maybe more smooth. So let's go up to six. So we made it smooth. So I hit tilde key and front view seven. Zoom it a little bit with your keyboard. And okay. So Now this is ready and go to modifier property, add modifier and if you want to make it smooth, you can make it smooth or what you can do is you can hit space bar. So you need to change this one. So it's smooth, set it smooth. You can do set this smooth also. Let's leave it for now. So now we need to make a modifier, means displacement modifier. We need to make it little bit up and down, not exactly curved, but it should look like a real nucleus. So let's go and we can do displace modifier. So in displace modifier, we need to select a modifier. So what we can do is we can do cloud modifier and it doesn't look like exactly what we need. So what we need to do is we need to change this modification or we can do like Boronoi or Improved Perlin. Let's do Boronoi F1. And this is not exactly what we want. So we need to change the shape. So for that one, let's go to modifier properties and we can change the strength and wherever we feel comfortable, we can just stop it there. So let's go in. This looks nice, but it's a little rough. It's more smooth, so we, we need more rough. So 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, not bad. Or let's go minus 0 0.25 strength. So looks looks pretty much good, right? Yeah. Okay. So now let's rename this as a uh, nucleus. So we need to rename this one as nucleus. And other thing we can do is we can make it smooth. So shade is smooth. Yeah, it's it's more smoother. So it's it looks like a nucleus. So let's go to the front view. And now, so this is the nucleus. Now we need nuclear membrane. So it's easy. We just duplicate this one, Shift D, and hit Enter. Let's rename this one nuclear membrane. So now we are done with the structure. Now we need to do a little bit of shading. So let's go to this 
view this is viewport setting and this was the viewport setting like this is the normal view and this is the render view so let's go and change the refraction so that we we need to make it transparent so let's change some properties right here so so for that one we have to change something in the rendering so go to render and we can do screen space reflection and turn refraction on and we need a little bit of shadows so we can do high bit depth and i i think this this looks good and now like we can we can learn a little bit more on the other windows so let's go to shader editor so we can work with the colors and the shading here i think we talked in the previous lecture before so this is object and shader editor so create new so let's have the white color and we can increase the transmission to full one and maybe decrease the roughness to around like very very low maybe less than one and ior let's first work on the transparency so for that one what we have to do is this is the 3d viewport and this is for rendering so it will exactly show how our rendering looks like okay this is for the rendering so what we need to do is we need to change this blend mode from opaque so it has to be transparent so maybe alpha clip or alpha hast then also turn on the screen space, space refraction and let's keep our ior to around one ior one so this looks little like transparent we can see what is inside so let's change ior to 0 0.9 looks little better maybe let's go to 0 0.85 okay it looks nice so it looks transparent and this is the render view okay. and let's change the color of the nuclear loss so base color let's make somewhere around red okay command Z so we need to go to the nucleus so make a new and change the base color to somewhat red reddish pink something like that it looks nice and maybe go roughness little down so that you will see more reflection you can see when you decrease the roughness you see more reflection yes this looks nice and maybe transmission little higher transmission maybe this is good in ior i don't know how much is going to be good ior maybe 1.5 this is good yeah i it looks good okay let's see the render view so it looks like this in the render view and let's see how it looks like here not bad but it's, we still need to work on some of the properties maybe we need to work on the lighting and we need to work on the camera so this is how it looks like and if we want to do the render if we render the image this is going to be our final image that we can render it out okay so let's change the rendering from cycles to ev and change the camera view this is the view of the camera okay it looks nice let's render the image so this is our nucleus so the outside is nuclear membrane and inside is the nuclear loss and it is not perfect because like we have to work with the lighting and at the same time we have to also work with the background so it looks better so the this video is a little longer so let's pause this video here and i will have the part two this is going to be the part one and i'll have part two where we can work on the setting colors and the background
and we can render the final image in the part two video and stay tuned for that one thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in next video 